Hello everyone, and welcome to our first lecture on pharmacology. Pharmacology is a cornerstone of medicine. Understanding its basics will help you as future doctors. Every day, people take medications. Aspirin for a headache, antibiotics for an infection, blood pressure pills, and more. All these treatments depend on pharmacology. It is the science that helps us develop safe, effective drugs and understand how to use them properly. In short, pharmacology is essential to patient health and saving lives. So, what exactly is pharmacology? Simply put, it is the study of drugs and how they affect the body. A drug can be any chemical that impacts the body, from painkillers to cancer therapies or even natural compounds from plants. We usually break pharmacology into two big parts, pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. Pharmacokinetics is what the body does to the drug. For example, imagine you swallow an aspirin pill. Pharmacokinetics tracks its journey. It dissolves in your stomach, enters your bloodstream, travels to organs, gets broken down by the liver, and finally leaves your body and urine. These processes called absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion make up pharmacokinetics. Pharmacodynamics is what the drug does to the body. Once a drug reaches its target, pharmacodynamics explains its effect. For example, paracetamol, acetaminophen, lowers fever by acting in your brain. That's a pharmacodynamic effect. Or consider an asthma inhaler. Pharmacodynamics covers how its medicine relaxes airway muscles so you can breathe easier. In short, pharmacodynamics deals with how drugs produce effects in the body. Pharmacology has many subfields that you'll encounter. Clinical pharmacology is the pharmacology at the bedside. It studies how drugs work in real patients, determining safe doses and interactions. Toxicology is the study of poisons and overdoses. It tells us how much of a substance becomes harmful. Pharmacotherapeutics focuses on using drugs to treat diseases, choosing the right medication, dose, and schedule for therapy. Pharmacognosy studies medicines from natural sources such as plants, microbes, and animals. For example, aspirin began as a compound from willow bark, and penicillin was discovered in a mold. Pharmacy is the field of preparing and dispensing medicines. Pharmacists ensure patients get the correct drug and dose. Let's quickly look at history. Humans have used drugs for thousands of years. Ancient Egyptians, Greeks, and Chinese used herbal remedies. Hippocrates, around 400 BCE, wrote about using willow bark for pain relief. That bark contained a precursor to aspirin. In the 19th century, pharmacology became a formal science. Chemists isolated active ingredients from plants. In 1804, morphine was isolated from the opium poppy, and quinine from cinchona bark was used against malaria. These discoveries meant doctors could give standard doses of pure compounds instead of crude herbs. The 20th century brought major breakthroughs. In 1928, Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin, ushering in the antibiotic era. By mid-20th century, vaccines and insulin for diabetes had been developed, saving countless lives. Today, pharmacology continues with biotechnology and precision medicine. 